हेलो सिविल इंजीनियर्स दिस इज ओम फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एज वी नो सिविल सेंटर इज कंटीन्यूअसली वर्किंग विद द विजन टू गाइड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट एंड प्रोफेशनल एंड फॉर दैट वी कीप मेकिंग वीडियोस ऑन डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर एंड ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ सीरीज ऑन टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चर्स इज अ बीआईएम सॉफ्टवेयर दैट मींस अ बिल्डिंग इंफॉर्मेशन मॉडलिंग सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इन दिस सीरीज व्हाट वी आर कवरिंग we are going to cover how you can do the detailing of a g plus 1 residential building but before going to the actual project we need to learn a few basic things and this series is dedicated to that so we have already covered how you can modify the grid lines how you can model the beam columns slab footing panels and then different types of the footings and then we have gone to edit command where we have learned what are the different uh, things that are present over there and now we are working in the view command so in today's session we are going to learn about the view properties so you have to just pay attention to this session because what i am going to guide you in this session will have multiple options so what are the different techniques of doing the same thing that will be discussed in this so stay tuned till the end of this video and if you find this series to be useful then hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel so guys this is the model on which we are working in our series and over here if you want to go to view then you will find that in the menu bar then you have to go to view properties so first of all we will learn what we can do with this dialog box and then we will just learn about the other things so over here you can see this is the angle over here whether you want to see this model in 3d or you want to see this in plane so if you want to see this in plane then you will have to just choose plane and click on modify and you will see it in the plane view that is our top view then if you want to just make it to 3d again and want to see the perspective view instead of orthogonal view then you have to choose perspective and click on modify and you will see it like this so these are the things that you can do with these two options now let's go for the next one so what kind of color and transparency you want in all the views that you can select from here you can choose here and then you can simply click on modify now next thing is the depth okay so you can see you don't have any kind of footing over here why so because this footing is not visible in this view so you will have to change the depth of down and if something is not visible on the top then you can change the depth of the top in the up direction like you want to increase the depth to 3000 and click on modify and you will see that your footings are also visible now so from here view depth you can just customize how much of the portion in the up and the down direction you want to visualize okay next thing that we have over here is display so what are the different objects that you want to display in your model so for that you can just click on it and then for now let's select all and in the model and in the component also select for all okay now what kind of things you want to see and in which view like you want to go for fast or you want to go for reference lines only so suppose i have selected the reference line then this will show only the reference lines that should be present over here now i am click on on modify and you can see you have all the beams and the columns present in this model but in just in the form of reference lines so let's make it exact and click on modify similarly what kind of things you want to just show it over here whether parts or pores then the merged or separated then the shaded wireframe wireframe so these are the different views that you can use like suppose if i am going for the wireframe then click on modify and it will look something like this that means if you have provided some kind of reinforcement this will be clearly visible in this wireframe view then comes the shaded wireframe so it will look something like this that means it will show you 
the class, the objects, and the reinforcement inside it. Then comes the parts gray scale. So it will just turn whole structure into a pack gray thing. Okay, that you can use over here. And if you will just move your cursor on any of the particular member, then it you can also see the class of that particular member. Okay, so like this, you can just identify the components. Then comes the rendered view. So let's click on modify and you will see that it is showing you the class and the components. And if you want to select the object, then this is the best view to do that because in this view, you will have no issues while selecting any particular member. So all the views are having different like uh, usage and you can also find all these options in the rendering option over here. So this is also present in the view command. So you have to go to render and over here you will find all these things. Now the next thing that we have over here is the show selected only. And you will see only the selected components over here. Okay. So now let's make it rendered in both the places and click on modify. Okay. So like this, you can just do the same thing for the exact and fast in case of bolts, holes, welds, and construction planes, everything you can do over here. Now let's see what you can do with the advanced view over here. So suppose you are working with parts label okay so click on parts label and just click on modify so you will see what are the different levels in your parts that will be leveled over here so let's uh, remove this one select it remove it select it now suppose you are willing to change the profiles over here so you can add the profile over here Remove the name and click on modify and you will see you will get profiles of each and every structural member. So this can help you out while dealing with all these things. Okay. And if you'll just uh, make the like um, combinations of uh, view selected objects only and then the profile, then this will help you out while doing the things in an easy way. Okay. Like this, you can also add the class over here. Suppose I'm just adding the name again and removing the prof class over here. Then you will also see the names and the profile over here. Okay. So like this, you can make the changes and I'm just removing it for now. Okay. Because I don't want a very clumsy things in my model. Whenever it is necessary, I will just come up with this one. Okay. Now, let's uh, close this one then we have views for visual object groups so over here you can select the different object groups like what do you want to make it visual over here like suppose you have anything in like particular so let's say you want to see only the beams then only the beams will be visible if you want to see only the columns then only the columns will be visible and you can easily modify it from there. Then if you are working on something like steel earth columns, then you can also choose it from here. And if you are like working on concrete columns, then you can also go for that. So all the options are present over here and you can easily select them and use them in this one. Okay. So let's say we are just going for all. And to go for that, we will click on a standard and our standard view will be created. Now, if you want to specify a new object, then you can also create a new object from here. And we have already learned how to create all these things in the representation. So it works in the same way. So if you haven't watched the previous session, the representation in Tecla structures, then you can watch that and you can learn it from there. Okay. Now in the windows tab, you will also have the view list. 
okay so like that we have just this 3d view over here so first of all we will have to create the view and for that we can simply just click on here and then go to create view and then along grid lines otherwise 3d view is already created over here so in this view you can also create a new view okay so you can see over here i have a bunch of views and now i can select in these views like if you want to see anything from grid line one then you can just transfer it to the right if you want to see it from the view of a then you can also transfer it in this side and now everything that we have created will come over here like right now i have a new file and over here i can just see the views like this okay and if you want to delete all this then it is easy to delete too so you can simply click on delete and if you want to delete everything then just select everything and click on delete so if you have created a like repeated view then you can simply delete it like this because there is a limitation of creating the views in declare structures so this way you can just create i guess eight number of different views okay so that was all about the views in declare structures now guys if you have learned a lot in this video then hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel and also we have a very good opportunity for all the civil engineering professionals out there so guys if you are a civil engineering professionals and you want a professional guidance on how to be a building consultant then you can also check out our website the link is already given in the description you can go over there just watch the free webinar and then you can register yourself for a free strategy call where we are going to guide you how you can be a building consultant thank you